Hi, I'm Ren Butler, and I want to share with you something I've written on one of the most pleasant of all planetary combinations, Venus-Jupiter. If you have this, you know what I mean. There certainly is an indulgent side to it, but it really helps us to have a good time, to enjoy our friends, to take vacations. I call Venus-Jupiter everything all the time, darling. In this rich and fruity blending, Jupiter expands in majestic ways the social and aesthetic yearnings of pleasure-seeking Venus. You are a flamboyant medley of good times, a generous package of fun and enjoyment, sparing nothing to make a sumptuous celebration of life as you heap on yourself and your friends the full sensory banquet. You want that grandly satisfied feeling. Your ripe and luscious beauty projects masterfully into the world, with your sophisticated nature impelling you to dress up and go out on the town, flashing your assets around with all the style and elegance of a Hollywood movie star. Whatever instrument you prefer, you get in touch with your inner Liberace, strutting and preening in full display before heading back to the house. It's such a shame to take it off too fast. You may also get spruced up and make love with your clothes on, Try the opera bathroom. No one but the tenors will suspect. At best, you enjoy a higher philosophical rapport with your partner, which can bring religious overtones to your romantic life. You greatly enjoy ambiances of genteel beauty and comfort, radiating a warm and gracious charm. You can help to smooth over social problems before they even arise. Yet despite these genial virtues, some rougher hombres may find your sweet style to be saccharine and cloying. They may even see you as being shallow or phony on occasion, but it is just that you abhor unpleasantness and conflict. Your movie star charm and style are turned on full most of the time. These archetypes also have an indulgent prima donna side, and you may have a habit of overdoing any number of things, socially, financially, or in calories. However, if you remember some basic self-restraint, Venus-Jupiter can be a beautifully positive influence, helping you to relax, unwind, and have some well-deserved fun at the end of the workday. Cook up a rich, delicious meal or go out somewhere enjoyable and comfortable with friends. Have as much fun as possible without maxing out your credit cards. And while your lover almost certainly appreciates your effusive, fruity charm, they also need to know that you can get down off the chaise lounge and face any deeper emotions and issues that may arise. After the necessary stirring the relationship oatmeal time, you can carry on with your croissants and jam. Be simply marvelous and fabulous as you display your ornately pleasant persona, but remember to do your share of the work as well. One of your favorite quests is to balance the elegant harmony of Venus, the beautiful, with the expansive idealism of Jupiter, the true. At best, you celebrate the noble and uplifting sides of friendship, the glory of love. You may also help your friends discover that food, music, art, and fun are healthy and nourishing sides of life. You are the whipped cream parfait on the buffet table of incarnation and may have a special resonance with Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance and prosperity. In holotropic states, and deep self-exploration, you may also work through issues around vanity, conceit, fakeness, and superficiality. All Venus-Jupiter transits are wonderful for a special rebirthday feast or celebration with close friends and family at the end of a session. Venus-Jupiter in relationship charts. These are promising indicators for a fun and rewarding chemistry. You may enjoy a sense of emotional and material abundance and relaxed ease in each other's company. Ideally, you will love one another as well as sharing positive higher values. Your lives may be permeated by a sense of style and grace as you feel uplifted, savoring the beauty of nature, listening to music, and appreciating quality time with favorite friends. During its best moments, your partnership may feel like a resolved C major chord of harmony and happiness. In less helpful and resolved forms, various Jupiterian expectations or Venusian indulgences might be too much of a good thing. As you succumb to crass and wasteful shopping sprees, 
borrow and spend money you don't have, or pose in cliquish social scenes without depth or substance. I look at Venus-Jupiter combinations in composite and sinistry charts. A composite chart is created by looking at the midpoints of two people's suns, which becomes the composite sun, their moons, which become the composite moon, and so forth. And that creates a chart for the relationship. A sinistry comparison looks at how all the planets in one person's chart interact with the planets in another person's chart. These are both very useful techniques in relationship astrology. Venus, Jupiter, and Composite suggests a highly enjoyable and likely beneficial partnership. With ongoing opportunities to grow and prosper as a couple, you may feel that you are more whole and complete together than separate. Your generally happy and content feelings may also extend outward to your circle of friends as you shine as popular hosts guests at dinners and parties, or star regulars out on the town. Your mutual friendships can be a grand source of fun and inspiration. You may also enjoy many pleasant vacations and holidays together. At best, you will enjoy the loving feelings and friendship of Venus merged with the altruistic aims and philosophical values of Jupiter. As a couple, you may join groups or causes that are both socially rewarding and contribute something beneficial to society. You may also enjoy creative and artistic endeavors together. The main drawback of these archetypes emerges when considerations of beauty, charm, and appearances become an end in themselves. You could spend your lives on a glossy surface of reality without being willing to face and resolve the more challenging material in your psyches, which can deepen your connection to sacred consciousness and higher divine beauty. When found in sinistry, the Venus person can enhance love, beauty, grace, friendship, and fun in the life of the, the Jupiter person and help to bring social and aesthetic considerations to their philosophical vision. The Jupiter person can share cultural sophistication, worldly perspective, and abundant resources with the Venus native. These people will tend to feel happy and cheerful together and may be quite generous with each other. On the shadow side, they may also enable any mutual tendencies towards sensory hedonism, self-indulgence, or wasteful spending. Although these archetypes are supportive for taking time off and relaxing together, people may sometimes have trouble getting serious, rolling up their sleeves, and doing important work. On occasion, the Venusian native may find the Jupiter person to be somewhat snobby, pretentious, overblown, and too much of a good thing. The Jupiter native may see the Venus person as being lazy, indulgent, conceited, superficial, and a social butterfly. Issues around privilege or sense of entitlement can arise. If you enjoyed that chapter, you will probably enjoy my new book, uh, Astrology of Love and Relationships, Composite and Sinistry Pathways to Happiness. I'll post the link just below this video. I'm also teaching an online course starting October 1st in Archetypal and Holotropic Astrology, and it'd be an honor if you wanted to join us. Thank you.